it off to Cersei, who will drop it right back out now to Staten. Yeah, we have yet to throw the ball down in the post. Parker, jumper off the dribble for three. It's good. Trades, kicks Paul Williams right corner. Penetrates, wraparound pass inside. Cersei lays it in. 15-12, Dayton within three. 10.52 to play in the half. Yep. You got two small guards playing out there with Parker and Staten, but uh, Miami's guard is not very big either. On the right side, Paul Williams makes the catch, rotates to the top of the key, throws back to Staten on the wing. Give it to Chris Wright, Chris. wanting the ball down low. Staten penetrates. Paul, top of the key, three. Good. Benson around. Mavunga missed it, got his rebound, lost it to Chris Wright. Back up, missed it. Wide rebound. Chris Johnson on the floor, lost it to Chris Wright. Bring it back out and around. Chris Johnson open for a three. It's yep. good. Man, do we ever need Chris Johnson shooting this basketball. The win down in Miami last year, he had 13 points. Starts to back down, ball knocked loose, picked up by Staten in traffic. It's a foot race, and the Blur will win it as he missed the layup, but it's tapped in by Benson. 45-39, Dayton by six, their biggest lead of the game. Wheel down low, Mavunga. Pump fake, had to kick it out. And around it comes to Winbush on the right side. Shot clock's at 14, back up top to Roberts. Shot clock down to 10, Roberts near midcourt. Roberts keeps the dribble alive. Shot clock at 7, kicks on the wing. Ballard 3, no, rebound up high. Chris Wright, here comes Dayton. Five-point lead and the ball. Spearman slashes in off the glass. Yes. It's good. And that's a fast break. That is the way you do it, folks. Trading stripped. Here comes Miami with numbers off the turnover. Roberts all the way. Blocked by Wright. Rebound lost out of bounds by Miami and Staten basketball. I'll tell you what, Chris Wright has been possessed tonight. He is really playing hard. He's only got 11 points, but he's got about seven, eight rebounds. A big time block shot that time. I tell you, Charlie Coles was 32 to go. Shot clocks at 17. Now they get the ball into the hands of Staten with the shot clock down to 12. Staten working against McHenry, probing the left side. Out it comes to Chris Wright. Free throw line jumper oh, is good. Big tie, baby, right there. <laughs> what a big shot. I tell you, this this big win for Dayton's going to win this thing 70 to 58. I don't think they're going to foul. Paul Williams doesn't even need to cross midcourt. Clock is winding down to double zeros, and the Dayton Flyers are back in the win column. Final score is Dayton 70, Miami 58.